Hello everybody and welcome back to our GCP Mindset channel. Today we start with our new mission. We start with a new series about the clinical development of pharmaceutical products and medical devices with a very meaningful title, What Everybody Should Know. Why do we think that this is important? First, we receive many feedbacks that our video content is too complicated. And these feedbacks are also coming from very intelligent, well-educated people. Secondly, when people ask me, Andreas, what are you doing professionally? I answer, my organization, my team supports company to develop new drugs and medical devices to get them on the market. People often answer, oh my God, poor animals. It's so sad, it's unfair. When I explain to them, no, we don't do studies in animals, they are extremely surprised that we love to conduct clinical studies in humans. It shows that most people have no clue about the development of these important products. And let's be honest, everybody, really everybody will use pharmaceutical products and medical devices during their lifetime. They are part of our life. They are similar to foods. But we don't learn at school and even medical professionals don't learn at universities how these products are developed. During COVID, maybe few people are more interested in this topic, but actually COVID should not be the reason for this interest. Therefore, it's our mission to explain the basics of the development steps to everybody who shows interest. My charming co-workers, Kelsey and Carol, will lead you through the video series in a way even laymen should understand the content. However, please feel free to contact us if something isn't clear. Also, please share the content with other people since it's about what everybody, really everybody should know. Enjoy the videos. Hi, it's Kelsey and Carol. Hi everyone, my name is Carol Lazovic. I was born and raised in Kenya from where I moved to Scotland where I started my clinical research journey. I'm currently here as remote monitoring manager and product safety. I will be taking you through a series of clinical trials of medicinal products starting with our introduction of clinical trials. Thereafter, I'll walk you through why and how they're conducted. Hi, my name is Kelsey Crossman. I was born and raised in the United States of America in the state of Florida. I'm a trial master file manager. I'm here to share a general introduction about the clinical development of medical devices. Over a series of videos, I will provide examples, explain the applicable laws and directives, different device classes, and the respective phases of medical devices. So let's get started. Hi everyone, I will be taking you through the clinical trials of medicinal products. So let's begin with the definition of clinical trial. Clinical trial is the investigation of the influence of medicinal product on the course of a disease in humans, but in a controlled experimental environment. Why do we conduct them? We are investigating the safety and efficacy of the medicinal product with the overall goal of treatment of a disease. So now you know the definition of a clinical trial. I'll now take you through the basic setting of a clinical study. So first we have the sponsor who's responsible for the preservation of patient well-being, the patient's rights, study data integrity, and the data quality. The sponsor can be a pharmaceutical, a biotech, medical device company, or even a single university. But the responsibility stays the same. Most sponsors will use contract research organizations, better known in the industry as a CRO. Another important component of a clinical trial are the study sites. Study sites range from small clinics or large hospitals, and these are the locations where patients are treated. Um, the tests are done here, the study data is produced and documented. At the study sites, we have a wide selection of study staff. We have principal investigator, the sub-investigator, study nurses, study coordinators, the list goes on. We have pharmacists, we have lab technicians. Okay, so now we know the parties involved, now we need the product. So-called investigational medicinal product or IMP. This is often manufactured by a third party and sent directly to the study sites. We also have the central laboratories. Um, they create the standardization of a study's lab and imaging results. 
It's also important to know that drugs are usually developed in several countries in parallel. When working on a global scale, it's really important to take into consideration that we have different languages, cultures, regulations, religions, and the likes. Also events such as natural disasters, pandemics, and political issues between countries. But no matter the country, wherever clinical trials are performed, they are all required to comply with the International Quality Standard for Clinical Trials, also known as Good Clinical Practice, or GCP.